Ramada's been uh, doing stuff. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm waiting for Eye Studying actually to come back and make waves uh, with that Greninja. But I, I think from what I remember him saying, he doesn't have as much time to be able to dedicate to tr uh, practicing and stuff. And I think Greninja is definitely a character you got to practice yeah. uh, mm -hmm. and, and be uh, like aware and, and get your uh, mindset down to catch and confirm as quick as possible. Because like a lot of the actions that he have come out very quickly. So you have to be you know, aware of like what you did and what percentage someone's out and what your next follow up is based right. off of that. So we'd like to see him come back. But all together, yeah, man, shout out to the EU. Uh, and also shout out to uh, Veer. Yeah, he's holding it down on commentary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, couldn't, or I don't know if he couldn't make it or if he just he uh, didn't want to uh, come out today. But uh, oh. maybe maybe he just couldn't handle Virum, Afro Smash, and like all the other EU players in one room. Then probably the room will blow up at that point. But here we go. All right, yeah, see what uh, see what happens here. Now this is the thing about this matchup. Even though, um, you know, this could be a projectile based matchup coming in from Zan or, or Cookie Slayer. The thing about Gluttony is that like he's okay with you taking that time because all that's going to do is allow him to get his WAP and uh, use it earlier, you know, sooner than later. Yep. And so like yeah, I mean like that you you, you kind of like force the approach. Um, Wario at times. Okay, wow. Deep edge guard. Um, right there. I guess that back air probably sniped his jump. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, he yeah. wasn't able to make it back. But yeah, good start right here from Gluttony. Yep. Uh, just in general, compared to the Ridley matchup we saw earlier, Wario is much more nimble, so can go around the projectiles a lot easier and not going to get ledge trap as hard because of his size. So you can already see Zan having a little bit of a hard time getting those confirms. The fair one didn't connect, just fair two. But yeah, we'll see I how mean, he gets a ledge trap. No, no forward tilt that time. I think the other thing about, um, well, just in general about uh, Gucci is like, if it's a very tricky uh, player because sometimes he'll just dance around you, but sometimes he'll just keep the pressure on you the entire time. So, like, mm -hmm. even if he whiffs something or even if he, like, hits your shield, like, he'll go for, like, a grab or an up tilt or anything like that. And it's like, you got to respect his next option, but you don't even know, know what his next option is. The, the bite? Oh, that was godlike. Yeah. What a bait. Yeah, that was very smart. He threw the bike up and it said, okay, you can't come back. And so now I'm just going to get the platform pressure and I'm just going to grab you with the command grab. Okay. Oh, get up attack. It's the neutral air. Yeah, I like that. The B reverse bite. Yeah. He so keeps oh. getting it. It does so much pressure, keeping him in shield. What's the option going to be at the ledge? Oh, the bomb actually keeps him off stage, though. Yeah, I think if that bomb wasn't there, that's probably going to be a neutral air waft. Oh. He's looking for looking for a little bit right here. Gets the neutral air yet again. And, oh my god, he's keeping the pressure on. Oh! All right. Man, All right, dude, Gluttony. That was relentless three stock from Gluttony. <laughs> that's that pressure I was talking about, man. He, he, he put the... You know, I mean, he stepped on the gas and never let up, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and especially in that very, that exact last sequence, just all of those nares kept him off stage for a very long time. I mean, he's just barely belly flopping on you. It's like, how are you going to get around that, you know? <laughs> yeah. The down air, the down air spike is what, like, gets me hype all the time. Because it's like, it's basically like a trade that he wants. <laughs> but, like, he knows you're going to, like, have to trade with him, especially when you're using a up B. So he ends up getting, like, that one hit of down air, and then you're gone. Rip. <laughs> all right, we're going to Stadium 2 this time around. All right, let's see what we can get here. Uh, yeah, as I said, uh, I said, I said we're going to be on Stadium 2 to see uh, if this uh, counter pick will help out. I'm not really sure if the platform placement will really change. It could just be a comfort pick. Uh, but Gluttony, I guess he doesn't have, like, as far as a place to stand away than he, than he does on um, on Town and City. Like, yeah. those, pla those platforms are, like, up and over the edge and, like, really far away. So you have to commit to those. These platforms are still on stage, so not as much commitment. But uh, you are playing a short character that is Toon Link uh, or Young Link. So Young Link doesn't have, like, a crazy amount of stuff that hits from the ground that uh, will hit the platform, so. Yeah. And you we're already jump up there and uh, harass. Right. And we're already seeing the height difference coming in uh, from Gluttony. I mean, just from short character, you can't get those bears that he wants, or you can't get that shield pressure. So Zan's having a really difficult time really figuring out what he's going to be able to do once uh, he gets that pressure on him. Because he yeah. can't extend his combos like quite as reliably on, on this character as he does on others. Right, so Parry's on the boot. Par no, the projectile. Very nice stuff from Gluttony so far. All right, it's the old double hit. Oh, okay. Yeah, big pickup, big pickup by Zan or Cookie Slayer. Got to call yeah. him by his name correctly. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. looks like he was going for the other back air, uh, double back air to uh, his spinning attack again, but wasn't able to get it that time. Guess that grab, throw armor, not quite. Just gonna get that set up. Oh, the the double jump delay. Thought he could catch him jumping out of shield or something. Not quite though. All right. 
So Zayn, yeah, definitely playing a, a more conservative game. It's kind of using that, uh, uh, using that platform kind of like a house setup. This is something that I notice a lot of uh, people who are who do have to play the defense game like this will do. It's kind of hard to get through platforms one or at least approach this, uh, approach someone who's sitting under a platform. So then all they really have to do is cover their front, and right. uh, and then they have like a little house basically. But mm -hmm. uh, and that's and that's exactly where Zan's playing. He's like playing like in the shadows right now. <laughs> oh wow! That's, after all that, still able to get the chomp. So decently sized uh, lead for Cookie Slayer right here. One good setup, but at the same time, the waft is available now that I just realized. So that's something to be afraid of as well. It's taking his time. Definitely taking his time. <laughs> okay, and this, the neutral air. I feel like uh, Gloony might be trying to take off this stock first before thinking about the waft. We'll have to see though. Because oh! oh! Oh, it doesn't get off stage, so that was so unfortunate. Oh, okay, actually used the waft uppercut that time. And finished him up the top. Yeah, okay. I lied. Uh, so apparently he just wanted to just uh, try and get that stock. Uh, just I waiting mean, for the exact I, right setup. I, I think you were still truthful. I think if he would have got, got that down air, he would have been a lot more happier mm -hmm. with uh, with not having to use his waft. But he didn't get the down air. He still wanted to get the, the lead, so go ahead and drop the waft. But now, I mean, even without the waft, I mean, if he gets like a half waft, he can still get like a decent... Uh, KO option, but you know, without the walk, I feel like there's no real fear in um, in Cookie Slayer's gameplay right now. Yeah. Oh, but the Nair doesn't set up in the second up air though, and we got up to the up air, but still, neither of these two quite in danger of dying to those options yet. All right. Woo! Yeah. A lot. <laughs> a lot of pokes right there, and also gets the uh, the reverse neutral air. Yeah, I mean, Wario's so strange. It looks, it looks like he, in theory, he should be a slow character, but he's just so quick, nimble, and he's got like those fast pokes. So difficult to deal with that pressure. Oh, oh, okay, wow. Oh, hey, shielded was... that. Yeah, very nice stuff. Gets the dare, puts him on stage. Oh. oh. But why didn't he? His, was his bike still on stage? I don't remember. I, I feel like they just destroyed it, so maybe he couldn't do it. Oh, yeah, that... he didn't have the six seconds. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Rip. Rip, 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 rip. I, I like the idea of the recovery, though, but unfortunately, he only had the half waft, so he wasn't going to get that much uh, height. And, well, yeah. Okay, so, I mean, Cookie Slayer will take that. We, we take those, right? He, he's going to take yeah, we'll that take game. Those. So, yeah. Cookie it's 1 1. It's 1 1 right now, yeah. All right. All right, game into three. Our third game. Good, good stuff to, um, to Cookie Slayer, you know? I'm sure that Glutiny is like a. Like a a favorite uh, person to get out of this pool, like not untouched, basically. Now, well, he's lost stock and also in danger of possibly getting out of this pool on loser side if, uh, if Cookie Slayer can keep this up. Oh, the landing uppers again. I mean, that's just basic Wario stuff, you know. You're gonna get hit by a 40% combo sooner or later. Woo! <laughs> and that's why that's, that's got to be a spot dodge read or, or, <laughs> yeah. or and miss input from him going for that F tilt. So, yeah. But regardless, right. still putting the fear into Zan probably. Got him off stage one more time. Air dodge. But it's going to spot dodge just fine. And the tech chase with that boomerang. Zan's going to be able to keep up some momentum this time around. Oh! All right, we got bike combos. Yeah, that down throw from Wario basically sends you nowhere. Oh, and that bike will send you completely in the blast zone. That's going to be the next Definitely stock. Sent him. Definitely Taken, sent yeah. him. <laughs> All right, so Glutiny. Uh, trying to get back down to the state. Oh, not, not able to get it right there. So, yeah. 108 here on to Gutney, though. So, he's he kind of definitely in danger of a KO. But it, it, with, with uh, Young Link, you definitely have to, like, set it up, usually, unless you get, like, a raw up smash right now. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, yeah, he's going to need, like, a bomb in the up air, possibly, like, a, a deep down air. Not going to be able to finish it from the stage, uh, as you saw. But, yeah, still no, no real damage being added to him uh, either, though. So, it's nice that he's playing this stock a little slow. Mm hmm yeah. I like what Glenny was doing there. He was throwing the bike in front of Zan so that the projectiles would just get eaten up by the bike. But the Nair finally would be able to do it, keeping things even. Much better already than he did the first game on Town and City. No three stock coming for Glutiny this time. Yeah. Glutiny not being able to get these neutral layers to connect yet, but he's definitely okay with dropping some of these uh, forward airs into the shield. Oof, not able to quite find a chase. The bike's going to eat that up. And again, yeah, he's just throwing the bike in front of him so that he eats up the fire arrows and that pressure. Right. Gotta get back to the... Yeah, that's actually a really smart uh, way of him using that bike. Allows him to get it kind of for free. Or at least force uh, Zan to jump if he wants yeah. any real pressure, so... Mm -hmm. 
Uh-oh. Fire extension into the platform. Not going to get anything else. That would have been a sexy combo, but not yeah, quite. I want to know what, what, what happened after that detail straight up. Like, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's what I want to know what happened. Because I feel like it could have been it could have been up air. It could have been uh, up B. I mean, they were mm -hmm. so far over to the right side. That, that, that might have been enough to at least uh, take them off the top. So. Uh, the okay. chase. I don't find anything else, though. But still, the back air. Catching up on the landing. Waft is available for Gluttony right here. Yeah, this time he's just waiting for the bike and just goes right around it. The fire arrows, not getting anything else though. Yeah, I think I think this is the time that uh, Gluten should probably try to hold this waff and just get the stock, you know. Yeah. Uh, honestly. Mm -hmm. And then and then after that he's able to get a uh, dishonest combo into a waft, like. Yeah, but it's a matter of that happening at the F that will be able to catch that uh, wall bounce into the stage. It went from like a dead even game to all of a sudden Zan is losing super hard just because yeah. that that WAF factor is available. And you can yeah. see the Lutney is just waiting. It's like, okay, come to me. I know, I know I have the lead. Let's just see you trying to handle this. And he, yeah, he doesn't need much to get this WAF to, uh, to hit too, so. Oh, yeah. Ah, okay, off, off, the ground, off the ground. I was expecting him to go for the neutral layer to get the second hit, go for the uh, two to possibly three uh, up tilts or up airs, but. Uh, oh man, he read the spot dash a down uh -oh. tilt. Both these two actually trading it out. The forward tilt comes out. The up tilt into up air. Zan slowly taking back his positioning. We're gonna get clipped off one more time. Waveland on the platform. How does he get back from the stage? <gasps> that could have been a potentially really bad tech chase situation. The bomb yeah, just to cover oh, himself. Oh, oh, oh no my way. god! It sent his jump! Bought it. We got bought. And I don't know why he didn't try to go for his bike yet again, but wow. What any that oh was? Oh my god! Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> he grabbed the bomb, it took his jump, and he immediately upbeat after. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a heartbreaker. That's a heartbreaker for you, boys. But it happens to the best of us, man. I mean, you know, there's obviously he could have tried to use his waft, could have tried to use his bike. I just think that he kind of like panic upbeat after uh, after that. Yeah, he had his waft available. He could use that to recover. I yeah. feel, but then. I'm gonna lost for worse, man. I'm gonna lost yeah, for worse. I can't believe not that. How, not how I was expecting that to go down. But good yeah. stuff, man. Zan's gonna be. I think they got Zan out of uh, Winterside. Yeah, let's go, SoCal. <laughs> let's go, SoCal. Who said Who said SoCal sucks? Taking out one of the big invaders here today. Very nice I stuff. Like, I feel like SoCal is the only people that say SoCal sucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a SoCal exclusive, so. All right. Yeah. So we got Mr. E. Mr. E is on. Uh, he's closer. Hmm? Yeah, Mr. E and Jackamu. Jackamu has been uh, kind of grinding hard on the, the locals when he's been here. I believe uh, on the Thursday local, he got like fifth or fourth, something like that. All right. So, yeah. And then Mr. E, of course, I don't think needs any introduction. You know, one of one of the best Marcinas in Smash 4 and continuing that streak in Ultimate, keeping up with I mean, the Marcina uh, name. A lot of Marcina, a lot of Marths have definitely just opted out to go for Lucina, but it's nice to see that he still opts to go for the Marth. I'm still trying to play Marth. Uh, I think Pug West is still... Uh, trying to play Marth, and then MK Leo, as of recent, has said, "Well, you know, Marth still got it." So now everyone's saying Marth still got it because the top player said it. You know how it is. <laughs> you know yeah. how it is. So we'll see.